The East End has been a big influence because it's, it's the canvas, right? So growing up and seeing classic surf photography and nature photography, when you see this, you're like, oh, this is one of those spots. The people here have been a big influence. They're the ones that dictate what happens here and how you're gonna use the culture and show the culture, right? So some places you can show, some places you can't show. So that plays into also what I'm gonna shoot, what I'm gonna show. It's the light, it's the environment, it's the people, it's the culture, it's all of that, that whole vibe. One more, yeah. one more, I'm here. Yeah, yeah one I'm more. Gonna do, I'm gonna do one more. Again. Okay, one more. Sick. He's so good. He's a power surfer. I remember uh, there was a day I uh, taken out here by the older guys in Southampton. That's how I really started going out east. And I'm sitting at one of the coves and the guy just comes up behind me out of nowhere and just hits me with his fingers. I like star startled me, like a 40 year old guy. I'm like 20 something years old. And he's like, what are you doing here? And then he sees the camera and he's like, what the fuck are you doing here with that thing? Get that out of here, I'm gonna break it over your head. And just, it went on where I was like, yo, it was totally shook. It put me on notice. It gave me a classic education where in New York, there was actually a surf culture that kept it real. I'm Alex. Hey, Alex. Drew, how are you? An old French photographer said this to me, I'll never forget. And he used to shoot with a, a Pentax 6.7. And, and we were talking about it. I'm like, oh, the camera, I love it and everything. And he's like, film. And he's like, you know what it is about film? He goes, it's sharp, but it's soft. It has a depth, it has a life to it. And I was like, ah, it does. It's sharp, but it's soft. All right. What's up? Step on up. Don't be scared. At my studio, I'm very lucky to have a mentor who took me in and he's like the best in the world. And like, <laughs> it's a, a pond with big fish and I'm a little fish. This one was taken um, sunset in the springs, this time of year actually. This is where these guys do their thing with chemicals. I mean, look, look at the stuff on the walls they've made. It's an amazing photography, you know? Look, the Ramones from the subway. Not picking up any negatives today. What's happening, guys? So I got into the studio and I met Charlie through a surf shop owner. So he invites me to the studio on West Broadway and it was real. He starts helping me making test prints and just helped me develop from the beginning. And I was shooting 35 and some digital, and about six months into knowing him, he comes out with a silver case. Silver case, I remember, has a big Roadrunner on it. I'm like, yeah, that's a cool Roadrunner. Opens it up, and a bunch of Pentax 6-7 bodies, a bunch of lenses, a bunch of stuff, and he's like, you know, I used to be Bruce Weber's assistant. I was like, oh, no, I really? And he's like, yeah, he's like, these are Bruce's cameras that he gave me, and I'm gonna give them to you. I'm gonna teach you how to use them. And I was like, inside like wow this is pretty sick you know so that's how i started using all medium format and larger format film stuff so he helped me tremendously every single surfer on this island is surfing this wave right now i mean i get to shoot the circus this is what i mean it's amazing uh, circus it's, time it's, you, get high. It's, no, it's, right. it's cool everybody's here you get to do airs with the circus in the background it's great all, down. all right a bit. okay goodbye <laughs> that's it that's what's up